Tesla owner got a text recently that his vehicle range has increased. We just saw a tweet from a user that was sent a text from Tesla that the range of his vehicle as, uh, was increased. So why did this occur? We'll go over that now with uh, Jeremy Johnson of TorqueNews.com. Welcome back, friend. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for breaking Tesla news. So whenever Tesla sends a message to an owner about something, it usually gets a lot of attention. A little while back, we wrote about a Tesla uh, user getting a text from Tesla about the Cybertruck and getting energy set up in their home. That got a lot of attention. So now that Tesla is messaging people that their range is increasing, I think it's worth a taking note of, says Jeremy Johnson from Torque News Tesla reporting team. So let's take a look at what the message said. A Twitter user was told by Tesla that his Model Y on order got upgraded to 565 kilometers of range. That's about 351 miles of range, okay? Putting it ahead of the Model Y in the United States by over 20 miles. That's pretty impressive. The Twitter user even upgraded to get FSD because he was so happy with that range increase. Now, why was the range of that Model Y increased? There is speculation from a Twitter user, Phil, that says Europeans will continue to get Model Y LRs long range uh, from Giga Shanghai. This is because Giga Berlin is not yet ready to produce vehicles. Tesla seems to have switched to Ryzen and lithium batteries recently. All the Model Y performance vehicles will come from Berlin. This was confirmed from Tesla uh, a couple of days ago. I think the range upgrade is from the change to lithium batteries from Giga Shanghai, but the real reason could be someone at Tesla found a way to make the cars more efficient, says Jeremy Johnson from Torque News Tesla reporting team. The range increase isn't from the 4680 battery cell because those are going to come from Fremont and Giga Texas to start with. Eventually, Giga Berlin and Giga Shanghai will have battery factories that can produce them uh, 4680 batteries, but won't be uh, for a year or more, most likely, because Giga Berlin is still producing battery factory, and I don't know what's the update with Giga Shanghai battery factory. The Twitter user who got the text from Tesla was also notified that the AMD Ryzen MCU was also bundled with the vehicle with the range increase. AMD is a chip processor maker like NVIDIA and the MCU is for the infotainment computer replacing the current Intel Atom A3950 chip in prior models. So not only is there a range increase from the battery, there is an upgrade in the infotainment system. And all of this is done behind the scenes as Tesla is continually updating and upgrading its vehicles. Tesla truly moves faster than any other company, I, can, I think, when it comes to automobiles. Will, will, more Tesla, will more Tesla owners get messages that their range has increased? How much further will Tesla ranges go? Is the AMD MCU chip going to be upgraded to even better chips this year or next? Leave your comments, friends. Let me know your thoughts in this uh, report and uh, let me know if you got similar messages from Tesla. And if you have any information like that, please uh, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Maybe we'll cover it at torquenews.com. Follow us on Twitter and uh, on YouTube. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Like this video if you found this information helpful and I'll see you soon in our next report. God bless you, everyone. And let's move on to our next Tesla story. Tesla aims for a new Model Y deliveries from Gigafactory Texas by the end of the quarter. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Sources familiar with the matter told Electric that Tesla aims to deliver a few Model Y vehicles from Gigafactory Texas by the end of this first quarter. It would be an important milestone for the automaker and its new factory in Austin, says Electric. The start of Gigafactory uh, Giga Texas's production uh, and subsequent ramp up at Gigafactory Texas um, uh, are two of Tesla's most important milestones to achieve this year. I would also add
at Gigafactory Berlin. In recent weeks, we saw several indications that Tesla might be starting production at the factory with many new Model Y vehicles already spotted at the plant. Sources familiar with the matter told Electric now that Tesla is currently doing test production batches and it now aims for to have some Model Y vehicles ready for deliveries by the end of the quarter. If things go this way, I think March would be a time where we will see uh, deliveries from Giga Berlin and from Giga Texas. So Electric says by the end of March, the automaker should deliver a small number of Model Y SUVs built at Giga Factory Texas. I'm saying small number because, you know, it takes time to ramp up the production until they get used to how to build cars. This is a few months behind schedule, but it should still set Tesla up for a good ramp up to volume production during the second half of 2022. A source familiar with the matter also told Electric that Tesla is now ramping up the hiring of production associates at Gigafactory Austin, which is generally a sign that it is preparing for a production ramp. As we previously reported, friends, the start of Model Y production at Gigafactory Texas is not only critical to the company's growth, but it also marks the launch of a new version of the electric SUV featuring Tesla's new structural battery pack and 4680 battery cells, which are going to be more dense, more powerful, and are going to give Tesla more range, will probably give Tesla new specs. The idea is to produce large cylindrical cells and package them into a single module battery pack that also acts as a structural platform on which you install the vehicle's body. The CEO, um, of CEO Elon Musk of Tesla has touched the technology, has actually tooted the technology as a manufacturing revolution in the auto industry. However, he also says that 4680 battery cell supply could be limited early in the Model Y production ramp and it could manufacture some vehicles with the 2170 cells until supply issues are resolved. Tesla now builds its cars with 2170 battery cells. It is going to be interesting to keep eye on this situation in the coming months. At the moment, we are still not aware of a way for Tesla Model Y buyers to know if their vehicles vehicles are going to come from the Fremont factory or if it will be in the new version with the Gigafactory Texas. Well, in the meantime, you guys can look at the VIN number. If it starts with A, that means it's made in Austin. And if it starts with F, that means it made it's made in um, Fremont. Now, I don't know the decoder of the Giga Berlin, how it's going to be, maybe GB, Giga, standing for Giga Berlin or just B. And um, if you guys are from China, and your Tesla is built in China, let me know how the VIN number starts. It's uh, S standing for Shanghai or something else. Well, friends, this is Armin Haryan uh, from Tesla, uh, actually from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage next time and have a wonderful day. Give us thumbs up, please, if you found this report helpful. Guys, see you soon in our next Tesla Amazing story. things are happening at Tesla Giga Berlin. We see more and more Tesla Model Y vehicles built at Giga Berlin for test purposes and parked at the Giga Berlin's parking lot. But there is no sign of the new colors yet, except a small minor sign. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and give us thumbs up if you like this video, please. So about two hours ago, Tesla Giga Berlin blogger and drone operator Jürgen, who tweets a you know, GF for Tesla handle, shared some images of more Model Y vehicles, probably the performance version because they're going to be built at Model uh, Giga Berlin, made at Giga Berlin, but there is no sign of the new colors yet. Elon Musk has tweeted several times about Giga Berlin having a totally new paint shop with new quality, which is going to be far more advanced than the paint shops at other Tesla Giga factories or at the Fremont factory. We are hoping that Tesla will introduce new colors at Giga Berlin, but so far we have only had a very small indication of a light blue color in one of the semi-covered Model Ys parked at Giga Berlin parking lot several days ago. I think those images were shared either by Jürgen or Tobias Lind, whom I uh, often quote when covering Giga Berlin news. Now, when someone commented saying, sadly, no sign of the new colors yet, Jürgen replied and said, at first, 
Model Y will be painted only in black color made from Gigaburin. Later, the special colors will come. Others in comments uh, saying things like uh, holding out for orange, yellow, or bright blue. No more dark colors. In fact, that the, uh, the uh, bright, uh, bright blue is one of those ones that we saw. Now, how important is car's uh, color to you? Do you guys have a favorite col col uh, color for a Tesla? Now, Jurgen also says Tesla is uh, actively working on the pavilion of Giga Berlin. It's an entirely different building method and is supposed to look awesome from the outside and inside and is not supposed to be built super fast it's germany and therefore really important how a lobby looks like and what people think about it comments one person uh, personally i didn't know that in germany people give special attention to a lobby probably many other places they do but i don't know what was special about germany and lobbies if you guys know anything about this please let me know in the comments section below and uh, so let me know what are your favorite colors guys and uh, friends and uh, what do you expect to see coming from giga berlin and when do we think finally the final permit will come we should expect something coming maybe mid-february well this is armin harian from torpenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news and let's move to our next story